Scientists in Birmingham have created a more accurate blood test for prostate cancer. The current test often misses early signs of the disease or even says patients have cancer when they don't. Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is here right now. So can you just explain the difficulties with the usual PSA test? Well, Nick, let's uh, ask somebody who's actually been through it. Now, 16 years ago, Joe Dyke had a routine test for prostate cancer, the PSA test, as you said, Nick, and the result was positive. It's a terrible test. Uh, at the start, it just says something is wrong with the prostate. And after that, you go into the other treatments and find out what is wrong. Well, the good news is Joe had treatment and he's now doing well. Now, the blood test he had was looking for this chemical, prostate-specific antigen or PSA. Higher levels of this are a sign you could have cancer. Now, PSA is made up of a big protein, that's the green bit, and also a sugar molecule on the side in red. It comes in around 60 different forms, all with the same protein, but all with different sugars attached. And the problem is not all of these are a sign of cancer. The test Joe had just detected the protein, so it lumped together all the different varieties of PSA PSA, and that means it isn't as sensitive as doctors would like. 25% of the men are missed when you do that PSA test. At the same time, there is a kind of high percentage that is overdiagnosed, that they are told that they have cancer to find out later that they don't. So this new test doesn't look for the protein part of PSA at all. It looks for the sugar instead. And not all the 60 varieties, but only the four or five that are most closely associated with prostate cancer. To make the test itself, you take a sample containing the forms of PSA you want to find and add an acid that then grabs onto the sugar itself. That's the yellow blobs there. You then use chemical engineering to lock it all down onto a piece of gold at the bottom there and the PSA is then washed away and you're left with a PSA-shaped hole with these molecules here that only allow specific PSA with those sugars we want to drop into the hole to be detected. This is your new test and it's much more accurate and this is just the start. So certainly there are other cancers, indeed ovarian cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, Alzheimer's as well, may indeed be detected earlier by a technology such as ours. And these are actual gold samples being prepared for the detector and actually a working detector for prostate cancer in the lab at the University of Birmingham. And thanks to a new university company, this whole test is being fast-tracked from lab to hospital. If all goes well, it should arrive in your GP in the next few years. Nick. And that is really good news. David, thank you.